the spacecraft is, is going to depart from orbit, slowly descend to the surface of the asteroid, reach out with a sampling arm, make contact with the, sam of the sampling head with the surface for just five seconds, discharge nitrogen gas into the surface to stir up the surface under the sampling head so that it will flow into the sample chamber and then, uh, and then get out of there, like the burn its retro rockets and get, it back, get back to a safe distance from the asteroid where we'll, we'll measure how much sample we got in the chamber. Scientifically, really exciting. Um, you know, it's the first time that we've, you know, been to the surface, tried to touch the surface of another solar system object. Um, the first time that NASA has tried to do that and bring, in order to bring back the sample, um, you know, in a really long time. Um, and the first time we, that NASA has tried to do it on an asteroid, um, there was a Japanese mission called Hayabusa that did something like this on a different aster a different type of asteroid a, a few years ago. And they brought back a tiny sample that was still scientifically super valuable. Um, but ours is larger and it'll have, you know, um, uh, you know, water and organics in it, we think, like, you know, locked into the, into the rocks of the sample. And, you know, it'll just be scientifically extremely interesting in a different way. Mm -hmm. 